Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back, or if it's your first time here, welcome to my channel. Now today we are going to be doing my November favorites on the face as we normally do. Now if you're new here and you're confused and have no idea what I'm talking about, basically instead of just talking about all of my favorite products from the month, I actually apply them on my face and talk about them at the same time so that you can get a better idea of how these products actually perform. So this is the look that I created for you guys. It's a really like fresh but still soft glam look and I really love the way it turned out and I hope that you guys enjoy this video. Do not forget to let me know what you thought in the comments. Let me know of course course what your favorite product was in the month of November. I always love hearing what you guys have to say. Do not forget to give this video a big thumbs up and of course subscribe if you're not subscribed already and let's get right into it. So let's first start off with the face. I'm first going to take my MAC strobe cream. This is actually from their new strobe cream collection. It's in the shade gold light. So it has the most subtle really soft golden shift to it. It's so pretty. I've been wearing this underneath my foundation basically since I got it, which was about two weeks ago. So I definitely want to include it in my favorites today because I have been loving it. It really just gives your skin a really beautiful glow. I've loved strobe cream for the longest time. I used to use it in my freelance kit when I did do freelance. So I was pretty excited when I saw they came out with like a whole collection with different sort of variations of the strobe cream. And this one is definitely my favorite. So I just like to sort of massage this throughout to my whole entire face, <laughs> obviously. So for my foundation today, I'm gonna to be taking my Hourglass Vanish. This honestly feels like the only foundation that I've been wearing over the past month. It gives you that coverage without looking heavy and it still has a really natural effect to it, which I just really adore. And the cream formula really does blend out really easily. It's not a pain in the ass like a lot of cream formulas are. So I use the shade Ivory and this is actually just a little bit too dark for me currently. I could probably go one shade lighter, but I don't have one shade lighter. So we're just gonna make this work. With this foundation, if I ever wanna build up coverage, I really just simply just sort of tap it on where I feel like I need more. And whenever I go in with a second layer foundation, here's like a little tip for you guys. I never swipe because I always feel like it moves the foundation around rather than staying where I want that extra coverage. So I'll take my brush and instead of swiping, I will dab and that just ensures that the foundation stays exactly, exactly where I want it. So first things first for my eyeshadow, I'm going to be taking my Kylie Burgundy palette. Now this palette has like not left my vanity throughout the whole entire month. It's basically all I've been using. I actually just received the holiday palette yesterday. Um, I have not even cracked this thing open. I didn't even touch the eyeshadows yet. I do think I'm going to be doing a dupe video if you guys still want to see it. Um, let me know in the comments if I should do a dupe video. So first things first, I'm just going to take this caramel shade right over here and on a big fluffy brush, this is my Sigma E40. I'm just going to apply this above my crease as our transition shade. Now, I really want this look to be basically just a soft glitter cut crease. So I don't want there to be too much definition up in the crease, but I definitely want a nice warm halo in this area. So this color is perfect for that. And I'm just going really big circular motions with my brush to really buff this color out. And I'm bringing it all the way from the inner to the outer corner. This brush man sheds like crazy. I swear every time I use it, just little, tiny little brush hairs just like trickle down my face. It's the most annoying thing. Sometimes I'll be editing a video and just realize that there was like a brush hair like in the middle of my forehead the whole entire time and it's always from one of these brushes. Now I'm just going to go into a smaller little blending brush. This is my Smith 230. I think I'm gonna go into this shade right over here. It's sort of like a very warm, warm brown shade. <laughs> as simple as that and on this brush I'm just going to apply this into the crease and I'm going to really concentrate this into the crease making sure I don't get too much of this color or really any of this color onto my lid because like I said I want this to be a very very soft cut crease so I'm just applying this into the crease and so we're just blending it into the previous shade making sure that it's nice and diffused you don't want this to be harsh so now I'm gonna carve on my crease with my MAC Soft Ochre Pro Longwear Paint Pot. You could use concealer for this, but the reason why I like the paint pots is because they're a little bit drier. I feel like it makes it a little bit easier to manipulate this product in this area because it doesn't slip and slide around too much. So I'm going to take my flat shader brush. This is my MAC 242. I'm gonna load up the tip of it. <laughs> Interesting terminology. And now I'm going to just sort of carve out my crease area so that my lid is nice and clean and my crease is nice and carved. So just running along my crease and then like sort of flicking it out. 
By the way, if you are intimidated by cut creases, like I totally feel you, I feel like I'm just terrible at cut creases, but I've been practicing and practicing over the last little bit because I'm just determined to be able to, to get it right. And I feel like this is like the best method to get a really nice sharp cut crease so just by cleaning it up. It sort of allows you to be a little bit messier, which just makes it a whole lot easier. So next, I'm gonna be taking another one of my favorite eyeshadows of the month. This is my Giorgio Armani Eye Tint in the shade number 12. It's a really pretty like soft vanilla champagne shade. They are really nice because as soon as you apply them, they will set down and not move. It's basically a cream eyeshadow. So I'm going to take some, put it on the back of my hand, and I'm actually gonna apply it to my lid with the same flat shader brush, just so that I have a little bit more precision. So I'm gonna apply it onto my whole entire lid, and this is sort of gonna be the base for our glitter that we're going to be applying. It's a really great product to sort of just pop on the lid and go, especially when you're in a rush. And this type of shade really does sort of brighten and open up the eyes. So it's great if you're feeling like a little bit dull in the morning. And like I said, these last all day. So you could totally stop this look here. You could apply some eyeliner or not even apply eyeliner and just pop on mascara and you're good to go. But I definitely wanna put a little bit of glitter into this look just to add a little bit of a sparkle because why not? So I'm gonna be taking my heavy metal glitter eyeliner from Urban Decay in the shade Midnight Cowboy. This this is a really beautiful just gold glitter eyeliner. What's really nice about these is that it makes glitter really easy and mess free because it is basically in like an eyeliner form. You could just sort of pop it on without needing to put on glitter glue or glitter primer or getting glitter followed everywhere. So I'm just going to pop this right in the center of my lid. I just like to apply this product directly from the eyeliner brush and I like to just build it up until it's to the intensity that I want and then I'll just take my finger and dab at the edges to sort of feather the product out so that it's not like a harsh stripe of glitter right in the center of my lid and then once it dries you could definitely apply more layers really it's all about personal preference so while I let this glitter set on my lid, I'm gonna go into my concealer. I'm gonna be taking my Maybelline It's an Age Rewind, and this is the neutralizer shade. Most definitely been my favorite concealer this month. I have not been able to stop using it. I sort of rediscovered it after I did my um, five best, five worst concealer video. Um, I realized how much I loved it, and I have just been using it every single day ever since that video so I definitely had to mention it today there's a few reasons why I really like this concealer first I just love the coverage that it gives but yeah it is still pretty lightweight it's not like a super heavy or thick concealer at all in fact the consistency is pretty thin um, and I also just love how the neutralizer shade just really brightens up underneath my eyes and I just think it is a really great concealer from the drugstore so I'm gonna take my beauty blender now and sort of just dab everything out So now to set my under eyes, I'm going to be taking my RCMA No Color Powder and I'm going to apply this with my little sponge. And I know I should probably find a new powder to love because this is basically the only powder that I ever use on my channel. At least that's what it feels like. But honestly, it's just the best and it's the only powder that I actually truly really love and it's the only powder that I use on an everyday basis. I'm just applying this underneath my eyes. I'm baking slightly, like very, very slightly. And then I'm just gonna take a fluffy brush and sort of just sweep that powder away immediately after. So now it's time to work on the eyeliner and there are two roads. This is four. There are two roads that we can go down. We can either do a really bold, like black winged eyeliner, or we can do something a little bit softer. And I think today I'm gonna go for the softer look. I'm going to take my Smith 205. This is just an angled brush. I'm gonna go back into the Kylie palette, and I'm going to grab the darkest shade in the palette, which is this really deep, dark, warm brown. It's a really beautiful, rich color. And I'm basically just gonna create a wing with the shadow. So I'm gonna start to build it up right on the outer corner of my eye. There's like brush hairs all over my face. And then I'm just going to bring it back in. And I'm not gonna bring this all the way to like the inner corner of my eye or anything like that. I'm really just going to create that wing right on that outer corner and sort of just smudge a little bit of the color in between my lashes, going about three quarters of the way. So the wing is definitely not quite as sharp as I would like. So all I'm going to do is take my finger and drag it along the outer edge and you can see that instantly just sharpens it up because eyeshadow is just so easy to manipulate. Way easier than a gel or a liquid. 
So now to finish off the eyes, I'm going to be taking my CoverGirl The Super Sizer Fibers Mascara. I've sort of been switching between this as well as the Maybelline Lash Sensational. They're both really great mascaras from the drugstore, so it's definitely another favorite for the month. I really just find it makes my lashes look incredibly long and just really separates them very nicely. So now moving on to the rest of the face. First with the bronzer, I'm gonna be taking my Beauty Counter Color Contour Matte Bronzer in the shade number 01. Honestly, I just feel like this bronzer has the perfect amount of like cool and warm tones to it that it just warms up my face without looking muddy or too orange and it honestly blends beautifully into the skin, so that's why I've been loving it. So I'm just going to take that on my favorite bronzer brush, my Smith 112. And I'm just going to apply this in all the areas that I would normally bronze. Cheekbone area to slightly contour my face. I think my favorite part of makeup is like bronzer and contour just because I feel like it's the most transformative. You could literally change the shape of your face with bronzer and contour and I just think it's so cool. Oh my god, what is going on? Jamie's contouring her nose. Ah, this never happens. This is the first and probably the last time you'll ever see me contour my nose. I just feel like it never looks good. Oh, this actually wasn't bad. Every time I try to do this, it just looks terrible. I just feel like I have an uncontourable nose, which is okay. But actually, that doesn't look bad. Hmm. This brush is an hourglass brush, and I really like the way it's applying this. Usually I go in with like a really precise brush, but I think the fluffier brush is actually doing a good job. All right. Okay, so for my blush, I actually do not have a favorite blush of the month. So I figured instead of using any old blush, I would use something that I actually have not tried before. So it would almost be like a little bit of a first impression because I've been really dying to try these out, but I just have not had the chance. So this is the NARS Unfiltered One Cheek Palette. This is part of their holiday collection. It looks like this. It has such beautiful blushy shades in here. So I figured I would try it out. I think I'm going to take this shade in the middle, which is called Chic. Oh my god, this color is beautiful. Blush too, guys, honestly, just like transforms the face. Like, look how beautiful this color is and it really just ties everything together, brings in the eyes. Oh my god, adds like more life to the face. This is such a pretty shade. So yeah, NARS came out with two um, blush palettes. I have the other one here. I'll hold it up in a sec. Um, I think my favorite one is the one that I'm using right now. I feel like it has the most variety of colors, whereas the other one, I feel like the colors are pretty similar in it. Um, so this is Unfiltered One. Looks like this has definitely a wide variety of colors. We have this like really bright red shade, which looks really intense, but I feel like if you apply very small amount with a very light hand, a lot of people could pull this off. Um, you have a highlighter shade and then these other blush shades. This palette definitely has more pinks in here, but you can see what I mean when I say that this one definitely has more variety in it. But this one is definitely also really beautiful. It really just depends what your preferences are. If I were to have to pick one, it would definitely be this one though. All right, so now moving on to my highlighter. This is the Pro Light Fusion highlighter in the shade number 01, I believe. So this is sort of marketed as like an undetectable highlighter. And I would almost have to agree with that because it does give a really intense glow, but you can't really totally like detect it on your face. It sort of just looks like you're just glowing, which I do really like. And that's sort of an effect that I find I can really only achieve with with creams and I'm just going to <laughs> I just got so confused I'm just gonna pop this right on the tops of my cheekbones so pretty all right let's just do the brows you guys know I hate doing brows. This is like my least favorite part of doing my makeup. I do have a favorite brow product of the month and it is the Anastasia Brow Pomade in the shade Medium Brown. Now it's sort of funny because David is actually the one who got me back into the brow pomade, which is sort of strange. Um, basically when we did our Boyfriend Buys My Makeup video, he bought me this and I hadn't used it in like the longest time. Um, and I used it in that video and sort of fell back in love with it. So thanks to David, I found a current favorite brow product which I think is actually pretty funny so <laughs> I'm just using this on the same angle brush that I use for my eyeliner I'm the Smith one and I'm just going to fill in those brows brows are finally done I feel such a like a sense of relief right now 
so happy. So my favorite lip product of the month are most definitely the NARS Velvet Lip Glides. I mean, I feel like I've spoken about these in almost every single one of my videos this month. Like, I feel like I've sort of slipped them in there. So basically, it's a liquid lipstick, but it definitely is not a matte liquid lipstick. It's a little bit more sheer. It definitely has a little bit of a sheen to it. But as you wear, if that sheen does wear down, it becomes a little bit more of like a satiny, finish they're really beautiful so comfortable and just easy to wear and i've just been really enjoying them so i'm gonna be taking the shade unlaced which is like a peachy pinky very very light nude shade and i'm going to just pop this on my lips so here is the finished look i really love the way it turned out i feel like it looks really fresh but still a little bit glam and i feel like that's like the best combination so there you go all of my favorites are now on my face. <laughs> so that is it for the finished look as well as my November favorites. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Of course, don't forget to let me know what you thought in the comments down below and let me know what your favorite product was in the month of November too because I always love hearing what you guys have been loving. Give this video a big thumbs up and of course subscribe if you're not subscribed already and I will see you guys next time. Bye!